During last week's storms, most people were able to easily bring their pets indoors. But when you have tortoises that are several hundred pounds, that's no easy task. So a Pflugerville woman is very thankful her community stepped in to help. He had two companions and they died in the ice storm that we just had. So he's very lonely now. This is Big Al, an 800 pound, 26 year old Aldabra giant tortoise, and he is a survivor along with his smaller buddy. They live in an insulated, heated shed in Vicki Boning's backyard in Pflugerville. During one of last week's winter storms, her home and the backup generator hooked up to the shed lost power. Temperature nine degrees, still too cold for them. The girls just didn't make it. Two smaller redfoot tortoises also died. Boning was finally able to get help from neighbors, friends, even strangers. They used a tarp to slowly pull Big Al into the safety of Boning's home. We got Big Al and we took him into my bedroom. I needed him as warm as possible. I gave him my electric blanket. Luckily, we had electricity back by then. Big Al is under the care of a vet after his close call with death. And we've been working on getting him to eat. Hey, Big Al. He likes the camera, I think. In fact, during this interview, Big Al made some progress. Oh, this is wonderful that he's going for it all on his own. The simple act of drinking water, giving Boning hope, her cherished pet of 21 years will recover. And I've had people that come every day just to pet him, and he's so, he, he gives other people soothing relief. And after his brush with the Arctic blast, Big Al is no doubt happy the weather is warming up in Central Texas, but his vet bills have now topped $2,000 and a GoFundMe account has been set up to help Boning pay them. If you'd like to donate, we do have a link on fox7austin.com.